<sighs> well, I finished Nintendo. Yeah, I got a mic now, so you can hear me better. Um, I finished Nintendo. Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, and the God. So, my thoughts. Microsoft's dead. Th they didn't address any of the problems they have. They didn't address... They didn't address any of the problems they had. You know, the DRM, the restrictions, anything. All they showed us were games. And that's good and all. I love games. Everyone loves games. I love games, but... You're giving us Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2 for free. I have a copy of... Assa look, look. I have a copy of Halo 3. I can't even get rid of Halo 3. I got rid of my Xbox. Sunday. I got rid of it. I was tired of it. I'm tired of gold. I'm tired of paying for gold. I'm tired of paying for a service I don't get anything from. Someone says, oh, you'll get a discount now and then. On what? I get discounts on nothing. The last discount I got was Mass Effect 2. And you know what I did? I bought Mass Effect Trilogy for the PS3. I got rid of all of them. All my Xbox games are gone except for that one, which they won't even take. Did they show anything I liked? No. They didn't show anything anything I liked I mean it was nice to see Dead Rising 3 again it looks a little better than Dead Rising 2 did but exclusive I can live without it it's zombies if I want to play a zombie game I'll pop in zombie you I'll pop in zombie you I'll pop in Left 4 Dead 2 on my PC I'll pop Left 4 Dead 2 on I mean I, I got zombie games I got enough of them I got Resident Evil on the PS3 I got 1, 2, 3 I got I think I got four lying around for the GameCube. There just wasn't anything. Pan the Panzer Dragoon spiritual sequel. That's I didn't like Panzer Dragoon growing up. I, I didn't care. I didn't care, honestly. What else? What else? Um, what else? Well, what else can I talk about? What else can I... Well, I guess EA next. Well, EA... Um, Battlefield looks great. I'm glad Battlefield 4 is coming out. I liked Battlefield 3 a lot. And um, this might be a launch title for the PS4 for me. I mean, it'll probably be a, a big launch title, actually, for me. I'll, I'll probably pick it up day one. Um, besides that, Star Wars. We got Battlefront coming, kids. Yay! And the problem is, I love Battlefield, but... I mean, Battlefront, but... When is it coming out? You showed us a little teaser of Hoth. We've all seen Hoth. Hoth is like... Hoth is everywhere in Star Wars. It's not that big of a deal nowadays. I mean, yeah, I love seeing Hoth. I would love to play like a huge scale space battle, but show us more than just a tiny teaser trailer, then more cars or sports. Ubisoft. Um, the game they showed at the end was really damn good. As always, I loved watch the fact that they showed Watch Dogs. I'm loving the game. I loved the trailer for Watch Dogs. I thought that was awesome. He beats up a human, people dealing with human trafficking. He's like a, a vigilante and a fugitive at the same time. He, I know that's probably the same thing, but fuck it. Uh, screw it. I'm not editing that out. I'm, I'm tired. I, I've been up since like one in the morning. Uh, what else? Um, well, there wasn't much at Ubisoft, so I guess I'll get to Sony. Um, Sony won. Sony basically destroyed everyone else it's like yeah you know what we're not gonna have used drm we're not gonna have uh region locking and they yeah they announced last night that the re thing was gonna be region free on twitter yay which means that we can import our games maybe who knows maybe some companies will import patches so you can play your japanese game subtitled i mean that would honestly be a little less work you just have to do the menus and subtitles titles in a patch like i would pay 10 bucks for a patch I would honestly pay 10 bucks for a patch to like play um, any of the Tales of games in Japanese. I'd pay 10 bucks to play Final Fantasy 13 in Japanese, but it probably still suck. What else? Oh god, so much from Sony. Um, PS4, 399 launching this summer. I mean, not this summer, this um, holiday. Yes, that's good. That's really good. You know what? I have an $86 gift card. I'm going to go today and spend on a PlayStation 4 pre-order a copy of Battlefield, and maybe I can pre-order a controller. That is awesome. What is not awesome is the fact that I realize that the Xbox One is like a $500 brick. 
it looks like a shit. It looks like a brick. Uh, the, the Sony, we're gonna stylize our console. It's gonna look edgy, and it does. It looks good. It looks edgy. It looks hip. And then you have like the bigger announcements: Final Fantasy fifteen. Yes, yes. Kingdom Hearts three. Yes, yes. What else are you gonna? The order. Holy shit, that looked really good. I am sold, Sony. Yo, no, that's not all. That's not all. We have another game. We're going to show you more Infamous. Uh, stop showing me all these games. I'm, I'm going to be broke. I'm going to run out of money. Killzone looks better. Oh, my God. I'm running out of money. Watch Dogs. Perfect. It's going to have extra DLC. Stop. Stop. And then you have, like, Battlefield 4. It looks friggin' awesome. 64-player combat. I'm all for it. And then you have, like, them making fun of Microsoft. Like, Here's how you can trade your used games. Thank you. That's it. That's the end. It, it, it's shorter than a, a commercial. And it's just, it sets the mood so well. It's like, Microsoft is burying their grave. No, really, they're burying their grave. They got in and they're just shoveling the dirt on themselves now. They're burying themselves. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft announces later that they'll change their policies with... They're going to stay with it. They're saying, oh, we'll give you these free games. Like I mentioned earlier, they'll give you the... They never mentioned that this is going to end when the Xbox One comes out. And one of the games they're going to bring you is Final Fantasy XIII. And they're giving you Fable 3 this month. Ugh. Why? No one liked Fable 3. No one... Angry Joe made a 32 list point list about why Fable 3 sucks. Uh, then you get to Nintendo. This morning, 30 minutes. Every game we knew about, there was like two announcements, two big ones. They had a new Donkey Kong game, which someone's probably going to be happy about. I, I don't care. And Mega Man is in Smash Brothers, which I'm happy about, but I'd rather have a new Mega Man game than him being a cameo. I mean, like, people got upset he wasn't in Mega Marvel's Cap on 3. I was more upset that he that Mega Man Legends got canceled. I was more upset that Mega Man Universe got... I was more upset that Mega Man Online got cancelled. Well, I, I hate Rockman crossover, but, you know, he's in the game. As a, a clone robot, maybe, but he's in it. I mean, the fact that I buy the Mega Man comics... I, I have all of them. I have all of them. I have uh, three copies of the free comic book day issue. I have the ink drawn issue number one in a baggie in my box... I'm a huge Mega Man comic fan, and I have Mega Man 2 and 3 on NES. I have Mega Man Zero Collection for my, um, for my, my, my Nintendo DS. I have, I love Mega Man. I'm not going to stop loving Mega Man. It's it, because Capcom said, oh, uh, no games, we're, we're, we're good now. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with Mega Man until the towels come home. I'm going to stick with Mega Man until you get off your asses and say, you know what? We're making another Mega Man. In fact, you know what? That better be the surprise at E3 this year. Mega Man better show up in some way, shape, and form. Capcom says they're going to have a big surprise. If it's another Resident Evil, if it's like that Resident Evil port that Cameron talked about, or if it's another Street Fighter game, I'm just going to say... I mean, it's bad enough they don't respond to anything I send them. I mean, I know they're probably going to watch this and say, oh, well, I guess we're not going to talk to them. I don't care anymore. You know what? You got your you got your point across. You don't care. I I'm just going to stop. You know, Square Enix talks to me more than friggin' um, Capcom does. Square, that... They listen. They got Kingdom Versus 13 canceled. We're doing 15 instead. That title is canceled. We're going to do 15. You got Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out soon. Hopefully next year. Because, you know, they announced the game this year. But we knew it's been in working for a while. I mean, they said they were working on thir Versus 13. And that's what Kingdom Hearts 3's problem was. But you know what? They're going to probably say 15's done. We're going to have it out by maybe Mart quarter 1, quarter 2 of 2014. And Kingdom Hearts... Three will be available quarter one 2015 or, or deletes quarter four 2013 2015 four. Oh, sorry I, I really am exhausted 2014 it's just there was nothing good at Nintendo Sony stole the show Sony's like
and Nintendo's like, and Xbox is like, <sighs> all I'm saying is, E3 is always the time for change, and this year, Sony changed the most. They spent five minutes talking about media, and this whole conference on games. Microsoft, they showed the games, but they didn't have the goods. There's a difference between showing us something and having something. They showed us some good games, but they didn't have the good games. A lot of the good games they're playing are like Titanfall, which looks like Call of Duty with robots. Um, they plan Dead Rising 3, but that's Capcom. So, oh wait, that was probably the big friggin' surprise. <sighs> I hate my life sometimes. Okay, um, my final thoughts are Nintendo needs to get its act together with its third-party developers. Sony, you're good. Xbox, go die in a fire. And uh, Steambox and Oya, I wish you guys the best of luck. This is David Phillips from Gamaku signing off because I'm going to go pre-order a PS4, Battlefield 4, and Watch Dogs. Because those games will sell out the system. I'd have Tails wave to you, but he's over there.